Voltage drops is one area in the technical world that really needs perfected a little bit better. Now everybody's a little bit different of how they do it, but there are some constants about how to do a proper voltage drop. Voltage drops like a pro that we need to keep in mind. And one of them is the very first step we do in any time we try to do a voltage drop is to do an open circuit voltage test first, OCV. That means there's voltage available, but there's no current flowing. If you have a low side switched circuit, which is very typical to like ECMs, door jam, dome light switches, you name it, when the switch is open, but there's power from the source, fuse, ignition switch, and so forth to the load, that's called open circuit voltage. And you see where I put the voltmeter here? That's the most strategic place to put it because we can move the meter right at the source of voltage. We can move it to the fuse. We can move it to the wire feeding power to the load. But if we move it on the other side of the load and there's an open circuit on the ground, meaning we don't have a ground hooked up, we will see voltage from the battery clear to the point where the switch is open on that switch. So what you want to do is put your negative meter lead on chassis ground, the positive lead after the light bulb, after the injector, after the uh, coil, the blower motor, whatever. And you should see source voltage because there's no ground and there's no voltage drop yet until current starts flowing. So you basically you're checking the power source, the fuse, the ignition switch, even the conductor, the filament of the light bulb, the winding of the relay, or uh, whatever it is, blower motor, and you can see that the circuit is intact. So we don't have a bad load, we don't have a bad supply of power to the load. So you checked a bunch of things in one connection, that saves you time and that makes you money. 